I am. Uh, I'll be starting on Tuesday, October the 1st, uh, and from then onwards, it will be every every Tuesday. Um, we'll be airing live at 10.30 Eastern, 30 minutes, um, and I'm super nervous, Tom, because now I have to do it on my own, and I don't have you uh, to cover my back when I you know, run into trouble, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, I, I'm nervous and excited because it's it's good fun, and and I got a chance to uh, to promote sector work and RRG on the back of that. I know that I'm known for all the RRG stuff, but quite frankly, I do a bit more than just RRG. RRG is a tool that I use; it's a tool that I developed. I think it's a great tool to show people how sectors are moving, what the trends in sectors are, uh, but it's not the holy grail. There is no holy grail. So so even though I would like to tell you that it's the holy grail, it is not. So, But we will be using it a lot. And um, I've been asking people in a blog and a few prior uh, appearances on Market Watchers Live to, uh, to write in if they have any ideas or stuff that they want to talk about, because what I would like to do is, um, is make this show as interactive as possible, given the setup that we have. And the reason for that is that I used to work uh, as a researcher in various positions. And um, one of the things that I absolutely hated was when I had to write this like weekly report. And I am not a day trader. So my view is sort of a little bit longer term, like swing trading, you know, a couple of days, weeks, but, you know, usually a little bit longer term. And when you have to write a like a weekly report on the same market, sometimes things don't change in a week. And I, I, I hated it when I was writing the same comment in different words from week to week. And I, I told myself to not do that again. So I, I would like really to ask participation of all the people who are listening or reading my blogs and stuff. If there's anything that you want me to discuss, bring it up because I at least know there is at least one person who's interested in the stuff that I'm talking about instead of just me babbling about things that I think you are interested about. Um, I w One of the things that we want to go try do is bring up the Slido chat in the program. We have, it's going to be an experiment. We, we do it right forward. I'm not sure if we can do that right now. Um, if we do, then I'll see it appearing uh, on the screen. But if we don't, then... Um, uh, we're going to do that in, in my show uh, at the time. Uh, the reason is because I can then actually um, talk to people and see what they are writing. So if I, if I look at, I, I usually do that, and I did that today as well. Uh, one of the questions is if I can show how to display the two charts side by side. It's actually and the, the person who's writing that says, again, because I've, I've been doing that a long time and many times. It's really simple, guys. It's a, it's a Windows and a Mac trick. Uh, basically, what you see here is two browsers, uh, and you, you can just drag them to the right, and it snaps to the left-hand side. Or you pick this one, and you snap it to the left. And you can also do that with your uh, Windows, and then right arrow, Windows, left arrow. That's, that's really a Windows trick. We can talk about this type of stuff. Um, another question that came in is how I measure momentum on a stock. Is it rate of change? Um, yeah, if I measure it on a stock, it's rate of change. But I think that the person in question, Alvaro, actually um, uh, is is um, referring to the momentum on the RRG. Um, and that's actually an algorithm. It's based on rate of change. It's based on momentum, but it measures the rate of change of the trend. Um, and this gives you a little bit of a uh, sneak preview because in the show, um, we will have from time to time sort of short educational snippets and ideas, maybe based on questions because then you know it's, it's a good idea because then we actually know that people are listening. Um, for the big picture idea, what I'd like to do, given because the feedback that I've had so far, people want to have education. Yes, we're going to do that. Tick that box. They want to have longer term views. Yes, we're going to do that. Tick that box. And they want to have trade ideas. Um, yes, we will try to tick that box when it's possible. So, 
stuff that I have on my list, uh, items that I can work with. Um, I will definitely do a quick look back at every show, what happened over the last five days uh, since the previous show. And then my big picture idea is to establish a longer term picture based on weekly RRGs every month at the, the first show of the month. I want to do a, uh, a longer term version of RRGs and views, etc. maybe bring in some monthly charts to basically establish the longer term framework. And then in the weeks after, the three, four weeks after that show, just build on that framework of the longer term and zoom in on the on the price action and the relative action of these sectors and maybe do a deep dive into an individual sector at various members and from time to time look at um, what I call special RRGs and, and we've had one uh, earlier that's the one with the uh, growth and value uh, I've been working with breath RRGs we can do the uh, asset class RRGs for our longer term picture we've been looking at the currency RRG so these are like the specialties that we can talk about um, and I do a lot of research work like what if on RRGs that's that we cannot do that on stock charts yet but I do it on other platforms and in my spreadsheets and stuff uh, like what happens if a sector or a stock moves from quadrant A to B from improving to leading what had that kind of research if I've got anything interesting to report or if you have any questions you know, Julius could you look at you know if this I've seen this and this happening could you have a look at that and I can run it through various systems and we can discuss the results of that kind of research uh, on the air. And I hope that we can uh, basically work together to make that a, uh, a super interesting and interactive show. Um, so, yeah, that's the, I think the, um, the, 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 Big picture and stuff that I that I like to cover, Tom. And uh, and and you know what can I say? We're just gonna dive in head first on the first October and take it from there. All right. Well, let me just say one thing. I have uh, no questions about your show. Um, I'm not worried at all. You might be worried and nervous, but I'm not worried at all because I know from doing Market Watchers live these past couple of years and having you on the show how valuable the contributions you've made to the show regarding RRG and your, your analysis work and so forth. And I think this is going to be a huge uh, windfall for all of Stock Charts listeners and, and viewers to uh, get this on a regular weekly basis. I actually think a weekly show is perfect for, you know, I do a lot of uh, RRG analysis. I'll do price relative charts, you know, looking at the intermarket stuff. And I tend to do that on about a weekly basis. I think I would agree. I mean, you know, I do. I've been writing a daily blog, trading places for the last four years. I think getting in and talking about weekly charts or rotation every single day would get really, really stale and boring. But weekly, a lot changes, and especially if the market makes a breakout or it's pulling back or there's a big announcement, knowing where that money is going is incredibly important in trying to determine the future direction of the market, at least through all of my work. I think it's incredibly important. So I just want to point everyone to Julius's show, Sector Spotlight, Tuesdays, 10.30 a.m. Eastern. Is that right, Julius? That's right. All right, so 10.30 on Tuesdays. I'm going to be doing Trading Places live Tuesdays and Thursdays. So, and that's from nine to nine thirty. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to say Tuesdays is much see, must see TV for sure. Yeah. You, you're going to warm them up and I can, I can slam dunk it in then. Right. Absolutely. I'm going to throw you an alley-oop and you just slam it in. <laughs> be no problem. All right. Uh, well, we're looking forward to that, my friend, for sure. Uh, really cool. all lineup. It'll be awesome. Everyone should check that out.